This is what my old pack looks like. Basically, it's the um, blue cells. Get these on eBay. So the way this is a ten, it was a ten amp hour pack. So as you can see, it's three in parallel to make up ten amp hours. So I'm guessing if I want to make a twenty amp pack at twelve volts, I'd run six in parallel and then go from there. So that's pretty much what we're probably going to do. So if I'm running six. Now we'll figure it out. I think we're going to have, still have way too many. So we're going to make it more than a 20 impact, that's for sure. Because you only need about four for 13 volts, so. Yeah, we'll work it out. You know, it's actually a good thing I uh, pulled this apart. Or pulling, pulling all these packs apart. Um, there was a tab that would, was bridging the cells. Going, you can see it's a little bit burnt there. But it went from there to there. And for whatever reason, it was heating up right there. And starting to melt through the casing. Uh, if it would have short that cell out, it would have took all three of them out. It didn't. I tested it. They're still good. So I caught it in time. It didn't melt all the way through. But that's the kind of... That's the kind of stuff you find when you're uh, digging away in old battery packs, potential problems. So I just saved myself a lot of grief. Another bad batch of batteries. So. Sweet. Well, I need to work out uh, how many amp hours I'm going to get out of them once I finish cleaning up the wires, removing everything in, desoldering everything. But. Uh, I found a few potential problems that if I hadn't have pulled this pack, packs apart, I would have uh, ended up with more dead cells. Unfortunately, the eBay cells are good. They survived all last summer, and I was pulling over 35 amps on these babies. But uh, one problem I did find is bad, bad, um, bad joints. And uh, I had a few like that last year, and I lost a few cells because of it. So you really got to watch out for that stuff. And uh, you buy an eBay pack that you unwrap it and actually take a look at your welds, see if uh, if they don't need to be touched up with the soldering iron. So I should be able to get a um, 20 or 30 amp hour 12 volt pack out of that once I figure out how to uh, configure it and uh, how many I'll need. But uh, it's one, that re one way to recycle a pack. Um, I got this one for this year, and this is my last year pack. And if it sits around, if it sits around, it's gonna go bad. So I use a nice booster pack when I want to fly around and have a little bit of fun. I'm still gonna be building a lithium mine on anyway. So okay, well that should work. Um, I was hoping to get maybe 40 amp hours out of it, but um, short a few cells because of last year they I lost maybe I think three or four. So, anyway, um, uh, I got about th three rows of spares here, but um, three of these is 10 amp hours, so do the math, 10, 20, 30, I got, there's 30 amp hours there, and then you got four up, which is 13 volts, so that's pretty good, and then I'll still leave, uh, have a few for spares, um, I'll probably, before I put this all back together and solder it up and wire it up and everything else, I'm going to reflow all these joints. I don't need any more bad cells. I don't care if it's bad for the cells or not. Uh, soldering them, I just quick flash solder. Um, and they, they don't seem to complain too much, so. But uh, that's a nice 30, 13 volts, 13 point whatever at uh, 30 amp hours is pretty good. Uh, I should be able to keep up with this. I decided to run them in series. So, cool. And, oh, and I'll also be able to put them in the Pelican case. That's pretty much what I want to be able to do is to put that all in the Pelican case. So, we'll see. Later.